Yo, what is happening everybody? Magnification today. I'm here guys with a reaction to the um, volume 2 OST of Ruby. I'm excited for this one. This OST seems like it's shorter than the last one, which makes sense because the last one we had a bunch of repeated stuff with uh, the trailer songs and shit. Um, and yeah, this seems interesting. I'm excited. We got a bunch of cool songs starting with uh, the OP of course, right? And I'm just gonna jump straight into it. Um, we have some extra stuff, we have some remixes, I'm not gonna listen to everything, I'm not gonna listen to the remixes on this video, of course I'm gonna listen to them on my own, but on the video I'm gonna focus on the uh, stuff that we're gonna be watching for the first time, right? Like the, the full version of the OP and stuff. The remixes are basically just remixes, not really something worth reacting to, I think. I'm still gonna do the, um, this will be the day acoustic version that I think, I think at least, I may be saying something wrong but i think that's a that's something that's a thing and that sounds interesting you know so i'm gonna be uh, checking that out definitely um <laughs> and yeah other than that we're gonna do the songs i think they're like nine songs or something um and i'm just gonna get straight into it <laughs> like i said um let's fucking go time to say goodbye is the name of the the op of course for volume two and we're gonna be checking out the the full version of it right now <laughs> i'm fucking excited you guys have no idea all right, let's do this, guys. Uh, three minutes long. I'm gonna leave the original video in the description if you guys want to check that out. Okay, the original playlist that I'm using here, and yeah, let's just freaking go. This OP is a very interesting one for sure. You know, uh, with um, the lyrics, man. The lyrics, fucking, <laughs> basically, foreshadowing shit, right? And I'm interested to see if we get some new lyrics. Probably do, right? And what they're gonna say, I'm very interested too. To know? Let me pay attention here. Yep. Okay. Okay. So from now on, it's all new. Nice. Huh. <laughs> Yep. Huh. Okay, okay. So... If you don't watch my reactions to, to Ruby... For some reason you are just checking out my reaction to the to the OST. Huh. Yo! Huh? A huge lie. Hmm. Yo! This is interesting. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, questioning themselves. That's something. Yo, yo. Holy crap. Oh. I was going to say, if you don't watch my... My reactions to Ruby. Um, I have talked about this before a lot. That I know they are doing a lot of foreshadowing. I noticed that, you know. And this is one of the things that they are using um, to foreshadow. You know, the 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 OP. I don't know what it is, but some sort of like war or something that is gonna happen at some point and. Uh, 
basically, um, yeah, they have been using the OP to as one of the the ways to foreshadow it. Um, and they say in the OP, right? They mention, I think, childish lives. And yeah, for now, they are just being kids. And they talked about this in in uh, Volume Two as well, Aspen and and Glinda, right? Uh, how they are just kids and how they are not gonna have this role for much longer, right? How um, at one point they're gonna have to mature and do what they have to do, you know? They're, they are not gonna be kids forever. And, you know, it does make sense, sure. Um, yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean that some bad thing is going to happen. It's just that, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Eventually, they're gonna be um, huntsmen and... It's not gonna be the same anymore. It's not gonna be just fun anymore, right? But I don't think that's just it. You know, I think I think there's more to it. I think they're they're basically reddinging us, the public, foreshadowing shit. Um, so like some people are not gonna be expecting shit whenever shit goes down. Some people are going to be expecting shit. <laughs> um, like me, I I know I have been noticing all of the foreshadowing. I don't know when. Shit will happen, but it will eventually, right? Um, and even in volume one with the uh, I May Fall OST that we got um, there, which is a song I think they're gonna play again in the future, um, because yeah, it's just it's just too perfect, right? Uh, th they gotta play it again in the future. It felt a little random in the volume one OST, not gonna lie. It would have been better here in volume two since here. They are already starting to put to do the fucking foreshadowing. And yeah, in this full version of the OP, full version of It's Time to Say Goodbye, we got some new fucking lyrics that were amazing. Man, I fucking had goosebumps. And that also are foreshadowing. But this, right? Dude, questioning, questioning. They're questioning themselves. I don't know if that's going to happen at some point, but that, you know, that feels like uh, basically uh, Team Ruby right there questioning themselves. Um... And then later they, they start mentioning doubt a bunch of times, like, um, with a doubt in our minds. Why did we choose this and shit? Um, where are we born to fight and die? Dude, this part, this part is the fucking, this part is the craziest one. Were we born to fight and die, sacrifice for one huge lie? What? What? One huge lie? What the fuck? What do they mean by that? Are we heroes keeping peace or are we weapons pointed at the enemy? Ho ho ho. This feels like something Ironwood would do though, not Ospin. You know, like have them fight against an enemy so they can claim a victory. This sounds like Ironwood. This sounds like Ironwood. I wonder what is going to happen in Volume 3. Is Ospin gonna not be a headmaster anymore. I don't know, but this sounds like, yeah, this, like I said, this is definitely not something that we're getting right now. Maybe not even in volume three. Maybe this is only something that we're gonna have really later on the story, but for some reason they decided to put it right here, right? Just to, I guess, create the, you know, the, the foreshadowing for that. I like how this foreshadowing is so obvious, though, compared to other things. Some things, some stories, uh, the foreshadowings are very subtle, you know? This is not subtle at all. This shit, like, straight up, you you know some shit is going to happen at some point. Maybe this is something for later on the story, you know? But this is, dude, are they really gonna doubt themselves at some point? Like, why they're doing all of this and... Dude, dude, yeah. I'm just gonna go to the next song, okay, guys, honestly. Um, this one was really good. And the next one is... Die. <laughs> the name of the song is just Die. What the fuck? Okay. I, I guess we're just gonna get straight into that. I think I was talking way too much <laughs> uh, after that first song, so let's fucking continue this. Oh, this was the um, chapter 4 OST, right? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yo. 
Ha. Huh. <laughs> yep. The moon again, being Mation. Machines. <laughs> Dude, farewell to Days of Peace. See, what the fuck? This whole volume is just foreshadowing. What the heck? Cause yeah, I know I know we're having we are already starting, right? The whole shit. In volume two. Volume 2 a little bit at the very end. But yeah, we are starting the... Right, because I think they mentioned before Ruby herself, I think, said These are times of peace Or something Like, maybe it wasn't her, but Someone said that At some point, I remember Um Maybe it was Glinda When, like, they were questioning Um They were questioning themselves And they said, uh Why should we be, uh Worrying this much in times of peace, but no times of peace are ending Yeah Time to die <laughs> Dude this OST is epic as fuck Dun, dun. Yep, this was when uh, Neo just disappeared right there with uh, Roman, right? Dude, okay, this this was another great song, and yeah, again, more foreshadowing, right? And like I said, they have been, they said uh, Times of Peace, Times of Peace, we always knew Creatures of Grimm, right? As we got to know on the world of Remnant, uh, Creatures of Grimm have been here since forever, since, since forever, right? So since humanity can remember, they have been here. They have been here with us. So it's not like they are the ones that are causing shit, right? So times of peace, you know, we can have times of peace with the, the Grimm. Basically, times of peace are just times where uh, all the kingdoms are, are living happily. We have the hunters to deal with the creatures of Grimm. We don't have any other type of conflict other than that, right? Um, But no, times of peace are ending because... We are having more conflict that are not the creatures of Grimm, that are this organization, Cinder, Emerald, and Mercury. I wouldn't count Roman because Roman is just... <laughs> Roman and Neo, you know? They are just doing what they have to do. Um, and the wife thing as well, and Adam, um, they are not really part of the whole plan, I think. That Cinder has. I don't know what the fuck she wants or what her. Like I said, like I mentioned before, you know, a couple of minutes ago, what her end game is. I don't know. But yeah, she is the first threat to humanity in a long while, probably. Because, dude, when she attacked everyone with, you know, when she did the whole plan with uh, the train to attract the Grimm to the city, her plan wasn't to end humanity. Her plan was just, like I said, to create internal conflict between Ospin and, uh, and Ironwood, I feel like. And also to um, just bring more fear, more fear, more anxiety to the people. Because that is what the Grimm fucking like, right? Like we got to know in the world of Remnant, the Grimm, they like fear. They are attracted to it. So... Maybe the attacks are just something for the long run. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's more to it than that. But yeah, basically, 
the times of peace are ending. And I was saying, right, the, this is foreshadowing that, but not really. The, like I said, the times of peace already ended in volume 1 when... Wait, let me think here. In volume 1... No, not really. Probably not in volume 1. Because, yeah, in volume 1, Blake, right, um, with Roman right there at the very end, she's basically meddling into things that she shouldn't be, <laughs> you know? It's not necessarily... Uh, a, fucking had on conflict with uh, the enemies. Volume 2 though, the whole mecha thing, oh yeah, actually that is also just them meddling with things. I would say the first, the first attack, right, the first conflict that wasn't just because they were meddling, they were at the wrong place at the wrong time. The first conflict, because they really did attack us. You know, they were not just defending themselves like the other times, they really did plan an attack, right? So yeah, I think they, they did foreshadow things, but the the, the 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 thing is starting. The whole thing, the whole plan is starting now, right? Um, I don't know what they want, but it, it's starting. Um, and it, it's fucking good. <laughs> and this theme is really good as well. Time to die. It's time to die. Like what the fuck, dude? This song is interesting because like. You know, it's time to die, like, what? <laughs> what do you mean by that? For now, we didn't really get any deaths in uh, in this show, and it doesn't feel like the type of show that would do that as well, you know? So, like, I'm excited to see how they're gonna, like, when that... Are we getting that at some point? Are we getting character deaths at some point? If we do, it should take quite some time, because for now, you know, it's not even close to... The fucking creatures of Grim can't really do much. As seen in the the finale, we just defeated them quite easily. But you know the the first song, the the OP, this song here is time to die. Like what the fuck, you know? Basically, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanna I wanna mention about this song. It's time to die. <laughs> so more foreshadowing to that shit. But yeah, this song was really good. Personally speaking, it's better than the the OP in my opinion. This song, die, is just my type of song again. Yeah, it's good. Anyways, guys, let's just get straight into the third song, which is um. Let me check. Yo, it's it's fucking shine. The song that played when my boy, my boy John, was dancing. Ha! <laughs> I'm ready for that. No more depressing. No more, you know, like uh, foreshadowing shit. Let's just listen to some fun shit now. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Gotta tell you. That was one of the best things about Volume 2. <laughs> the whole scene with John dancing on a dress was just epic as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. Dude, is this about uh Pira and John? Sure, it feels like it. Nice. But I wasn't expecting it to have that little, you know, um sad part the song. <laughs> Wow, wow, this is definitely about them.
Nice. Yeah. I sure hope so. Been waiting for that. For that John and Pira to be a thing for a while now. Like, come on. <laughs> Please be a thing. Dude. <laughs> all right okay so that's it so all right compared to the the previous songs where i did a, a fucking huge ass discussion to them I'm not gonna do that for this one since it's just like basically a John and Pira fun song, right? Um, yeah, it was about them, no doubt. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's really good, man. It's a, it's great. It's great. I love it. I love it. You guys know when I was watching that <laughs> that episode, I fucking I, I think I almost started dancing with them. It, it's, it's a really catchy melody, and the lyrics are also really good. I didn't pay attention to it at first, but yeah, it's basically talking about John and Pira, right? Their relationship. Like the song says, right? No doubt. Let's stop with doubts and shit. Time to make up your mind, right? Like basically talking about John when, yeah, he likes, he likes a wise. A wise? is with a uh, Ruby, bro. Wise and Ruby ship right here, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, <laughs> the, the Pira and John ship is real. It's like the real shit, like not, not. Not even joking. It's real shit, right? Like it's not just it's not just a random ship that people do. Like oh, Ospin and uh, and I don't know, Ospin and Ublik or some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, no, it's not that. It, it's not just a random ship. It's a real ship that has, yeah, just it's real. <laughs> you know it is. You and I both know. So. Yeah, hopefully it will happen at some point. I've been waiting for two two volumes. Let's go to the next song. I'm not even gonna say anything other than that. I'm just gonna get straight into the next song, which is Dream Come True. What is this one? Um, Huh, I don't remember the name. Let's go and we're gonna find out soon enough, I guess. All right, everyone, so let's go. Huh. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> ice cold. <laughs> of course she is. Talking about wise. <laughs> I love how they are basically making the uh, Pira and Jean ship official with these songs. If it wasn't obvious yet, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think this was just a random uh, ending theme, right? 
if it re if it did play in uh, in an episode in a chapter, let me know, okay? Because I don't really remember. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I love how Wise was here for a second. Epic. Easy though! Easy! <laughs> He's John! Okay. Forget the chicken why. <laughs> why? I love how they're mentioning wise without mentioning her name, you know? Okay. Um, all right. Another Pira and John song. It was really good. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it probably was better than the last one for my taste at least, you know? Um, yeah, it was fucking good. Was it the, the voice actress that does wise that showed up here or was it just, um, Casey Williams? Yeah, I think they straight up just <laughs> just had the voice actress that does uh, Wise show up here in the song, right? Piro was talking about her. She was just like, hey! <laughs> um, so that was epic. Okay, <laughs> I love that. Um, and, yo, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna get, jump straight into the, the next song because it's Caffeine. You know? The song that played in Chapter 12. Okay, that song was fucking great. It was a little weird, not gonna lie, it was a little weird, but it was good as far as I remember. I'm not gonna talk much more about that other song. It was just another Pira and John song. It was good, and yeah, let's just get straight into the next one. <laughs> Is it why? Time to die again. Caffeine. <laughs> Dude. This is fucking epic.
Is this theme um basically this OST right here is the this team's theme? <laughs> I don't know. Wait a second, wait a second. Um Okay, so um looks like this team's name is Kathy, so you know Kathy. I think that's how you pronounce it. Kathy? So yeah, I think it is basically their their song, right? Cause yeah, he played when they were just being absolute badasses. <laughs> it's a great song for sure. <laughs> I remember when I was watching I was confused I was like why caffeine but now I understand okay <laughs> okay, okay, so that was caffeine the official theme I'm guessing <laughs> I mean yeah at least for now right I don't know if we're gonna see them again and shit um but team caffeine I mean what the fuck <laughs> team caffeine <laughs> I mean it's c f v y cafe cafe right cap I don't know I think that's how you pronounce their names right cafe so that's why the the song caffeine, right, right, right. Um, but they were with the other professor, the 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 fat dude, Peter, I think is his name or something. Or maybe I'm completely wrong. But yeah, that other professor. They should be with Ublik, right? Because he is uh, the caffeine dude, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah. <laughs> anyways, anyways, yeah, that was just a hype song, really good. Um, we're not afraid to take you out. Definitely not. We know that. We saw how they did it like, against the the, the the creatures of green. I was like, holy crap, bro. What the fuck is this group? You know, like, if you haven't seen my reaction for whatever reason, you haven't seen my reaction to the, the finale of Volume 2, go see that, man. Because I was fucking almost passing out from the hype. That shit was just extreme hype. Let's go to the next song, okay? Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, I don't even need to say much. It was just epic as fuck, this song. It isn't really my... You know, I like rock and shit. This is more like punk, right? Um, this isn't really the type of stuff I usually listen to, but yeah, it was good. It was good. Uh, the next one is All Our Days. Don't remember this one either. Let's see what this is all about. <laughs> Let's do this. Sad piano? No. Sad song? I don't wanna fucking cry. Another Ruby and in a uh, Yang song, perhaps? Huh. Long ago, before we met, I dreamed about you. The people giving me goosebumps all already, already. Holy crap. Who? Is this Yang about Ruby? Because Yang wasn't she really young too back then? Wasn't she like two or something? When Ruby was being born? <laughs> okay, what is the promise? <laughs> I 
Oh, okay. Now I recognize this this bit right here. They played it in an ending. Okay. Fucking Ray. Dude, another sad song. Are you serious? Yep. Yo. But see the night will be a break my promise gone. Don't ever doubt, don't ever fear. I'm always here with you now. I will cling. I will climb. Still hold on to Nice. Okay, is that all right? Another great song, sad song. Oh, I thought it was over. God damn, bro. This book. This OST. Alright, so just another great OST. Um, This one was like. Was a sad OST. Like, goddamn, bro. Like, uh, what the fuck? You know? Um, uh, I don't want to cry on camera. <laughs> Dude. What the heck? I, I'm not gonna lie. They did get me emotional, but. I'm not crying to a fucking song, okay? Uh, Ruby, you're not gonna do that to me. You need something special, right? If you if you wanna do that, you need something really special. Maybe you're gonna get that at some point. Maybe not. It did get me in that mood. You know what I mean? Of like sad shit. <laughs> you know. But yeah, I thought for a second. Yeah, that definitely sounds like Yang and Ruby, right? But it's a little weird because Yang was also a fucking kid back then, wasn't she? Like two or something when Ruby was born. Um, yeah, makes sense. It would make sense for her. Would also make sense if it was some someone else, right? Like um like her dad or something. But no, I don't think so. I think it is Yang and Ruby. Good stuff. I love them. I fucking love their relationship. They are great. Uh, I, just, let's go to the next song. The next song is called Boop. What the fuck dude? Boop? A Nora song? Nora and Ran song? When did this play? I don't remember this shit. Wait up. Is this a original song for the OST only? <laughs> what? Uh, okay, let's get straight into that and see what that is all about. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, 
Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> well, not together, together, right? <laughs> nice, nice. This is happening. This is a reference to Chapter Seven. <laughs> nice, dude. Okay, awesome shit. Nora and Ren, I like them. Not gonna lie, they are really good. Uh, always love to see them. <laughs> Dude, this is great. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, uh, for some reason, this is one of my favorite songs in this volume so far. For some reason, I don't know. It is so. It is fucking good. It is good. <laughs> I loved it. Um, and yeah, boop. <laughs> And man, I love what the, I, they haven't really been giving a lot of um, spotlight to um, Ren and Nora, right? They did have their moments, not as much as you would expect. I don't know. I mean, they're not. Yeah, I guess it's reasonable enough, right? They're not protagonists or anything. Um, so they do have enough time. Uh, but yeah, still, they are really good characters. I like them. I really hope we get to see more from them later. Um in volume 3 and, and forward, you know, because, yeah, I liked it. And this song was great. <laughs> this song was just perfect. There was a point where she was singing really fast to represent Nora, right, and the way she speaks, and it was just really good. Dude, Um, I'm just gonna get straight into the next song, okay, but know that Boop so far is one of my favorites in this volume, which is surprising, because it was, yeah, I don't know, it was really random, and I loved it. Let's go to the next one, which is Sacrifice. Huh? What the heck? What is this song? Let's see it. Dude, what is this? Scary. The piano, you know? What the fuck? Oh! Oh, what the fuck? What is this theme? Dude, I'm having goosebumps. What the fuck is this theme? Yo! Wait, this did play at some point, didn't it? It's familiar. Oh, 
Oh, this was the... The credit song, wasn't it? I won't fall. Nice. Dude, this is good. This is good. Huh. Wait, is this talking about? Well, yo, is this talking about uh, uh... Cinder and her plan? So her plan, yo, her plan, everything is for nothing. Wait up, they're saying here basically, right? What if your plan, all the shit you did, at the end of the day, you know, like wasn't worth it? Huh? Yo, that's interesting. That's some interesting uh, lyrics right here. This feels like shit that will come into play in the next, um, in the next chapter, you know? I mean, the next volume. Alright, that was... Uh, sacrifice was a song that is focused on the um the bad guys but it feels like they are foreshadowing something interesting in this song right a uh, sacrifice i'm not gonna be your sacrifice um what the what who is gonna be sacrificed i won't fall that sounds like the same thing from the um i may fall right i may fall i won't fall huh that yeah that sounds like ruby so Maybe it's not Ruby, maybe it's someone else. They said revealed, your plan revealed. Wait up! Hold up! Hold the fuck up! Um, cause Cinder has a plan. We don't know what her plan is yet, but yeah, she's doing shit and it says here, truth will rise. Um, revealed by mirrored eyes. What the fuck does that mean? No idea, but it, it, they're foreshadowing for Cinder's plan to, to go to shit. <laughs> so, dude, um, they're saying here, what if all the plans you made were not worth the price they paid? What? What? What do you mean by that? What the fuck? Dude, I, I love this because for now, the, all the foreshadowing that we have been getting is for a war. A war against what? Maybe just the creatures of Grimm, maybe the creatures of Grimm and someone else. No idea. But yeah, war is coming in the future. Maybe not necessarily in volume three. I wouldn't be surprised if all of the things that they are foreshadowing here are things that are only going to come into play in volume five, six, or seven, or whatever. Or maybe even at the very end of the show, you know? I don't know. But yeah, I wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if all of this didn't come into play right away. But yeah, we have been getting a lot of foreshadowing for that. But now, we finally get, finally, fucking finally get foreshadowing for, for Cinder and for her plan to go to shit. Like, what the, I love that. I fucking love that. I love the fact that they have foreshadowing for them as well, you know? And someone is gonna reveal the plan. I don't know who the fuck is gonna do it. Is someone gonna betray Cinder or some shit? Like, Neo or Roman or Mercury or Emerald? I don't know. 
But yeah, I love that. I fucking love this. Was this in the... I think this was the credit song, but was it the full song? If it was, I'm dumb. I didn't realize, I didn't pay enough attention to the lyrics to realize what was going on there. But yeah, anyways, we have now This Will Be The Day acoustic version. We're going to check this one out. Let's do this. Nice. Oh. Dude, this is fucking great. I don't wanna hear your absolution. Man, I love the um, the cellos in the background and the piano, really fucking good. The vocals, of course, as well. Dude, I feel like they could play this at the very end of the, the fucking show, you know what I mean? The last uh, volume, they could play the song, because it's where it all started, and it would be a great end as well, you know? You can definitely uh, see this playing with uh, the credits. And the last volume. Alright, so um, not really a lot to react to right there since it, it's basically the um, a different version of a song that we already know. But it was really good, um, I enjoyed it. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna finish this video off. I talked too much, way too much in the first few songs <laughs> in between them, I'm sorry about that, okay. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it was fun as fuck. I think Die was probably my favorite, okay. Um, my favorite song from the volume, um, followed by, I don't know, Boop was great. Boop was definitely up there, okay? Um, and Sacrifice 2 was really good, probably because of the lyrics I'm saying this, you know, because of the foreshadowing that they did, but yeah, it was good shit, good shit today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry if my reaction wasn't that great. I don't know why I feel like it, it wasn't as good as the first one, the first volume, you know. But yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> um, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you thought. And I'll see you all next time with volume 3. I hope you guys are excited for that. Volume 3 hype. Volume 3, I heard it's the best volume. I heard it's amazing. And we're getting there. If not next week, I may do a break, but next couple of weeks it will be there in the channel. The, the first four chapters I think I'm gonna do at once. So that should be hype. Hope you guys are excited for that. 
And yeah, I'll see you there. Peace.